welcome to the day 448 vlog in my room. Um, I've got a couple of things to actually tell you about something. Um, so let's get to it. In um, gaming news, uh, there's um, um, Microsoft is going to announce that in um, uh, May time, at the end of May time, that the new 720 is going to come out. Uh, but we don't know what it's going to be called. It's either going to be the 720, the Xbox, or there was another name to it. I forget the name, but it's all right. Um, apparently, you have to stay online for this one in order for you to like um, play the games like fully, instead of like occasional like if them being um, like you know like one of these like a compact disc and all that. Um, Strangely enough, I think that's going to be a bad idea for um, Microsoft because I prefer to have like hard copies of the stuff like like on disc. I'd rather have the things on disc rather than have them on digital download. Yes, you can um, you can re-download it over and over again, but what happens if your account like you know fucks up? No, like it fucks up and then it like it's really bad and all that and then yes you have to remember your email and then but what happens if you forget your password or s something like um something like um somebody hacks your email account and then changes your password entirely you would have to create another account and then you would have to create another account with like um, Microsoft or you can, or it's the same thing with iTunes. If your account fucks up and if you're forgetting your email and all that, you have to create a new one, this, that, and the other, and you have to pay like exactly the same amount as what you actually have paid. Um, so, in all in all, in all honesty, um, Microsoft, um, if you're going to make the 720 a lot better, please keep the compact discs. Please keep them because I rather. Because them are brilliant then. Even though sometimes they're lazy inside the 360. Uh, because the 360 does not have a protective disc buffer over it. The laser inside can actually burn the disc. And that can be a major problem for your, um, your combat discs. Uh, next is that... Um, oh, what was I going to see? Uh, DuckTales... Um, you remember, you guys remember DuckTales from when it was on the, I think it was on the NES or the SNES. I don't know, but that's getting remastered. Uh, we could be seeing that on the 360. I would love to play DuckTales on the 360. I've never played it before, but I would love to play it on the 360. And it would be on, um, it might be tested on the PC first, then the PS3. And then... Uh, uh, if cross my fingers for this, it might get released on the 360. We don't know. Uh, there's um, a oh, man, there's, an, there's a lot of stuff out there that, which is getting re released and new games and all that. Uh, the major re release that I would love to see is like all games getting um, put on to the to the new type of generations, you know, like remastering them, you know, like um. What they did with Combat Evolved, um, they did that with the tenth the tenth anniversary. But it was Combat Evolved Anniversary Edition. Uh, three four three actually brought that in well, into here, and it was absolutely amazing at what they did with the graphics. Uh, there's a lot of other games out there which I would love to see get remastered. In the comments section down below, which game would you like to see get put onto the new generation consoles and remastered? Anyway, another thing that majorly um, makes me angry, makes me angry, right, is YouTube videos. Yes, I'm talking about YouTube videos that are not but in your country. So, there I was just browsing around, like, on me, like, on me internet, you, da, la, 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 YouTube and all that, and suddenly I come across a video that I really like, I click on it, but then it says, the user has not put it into this country, into your country. I 
that really pisses me off. Now, two things that I can um, decipher what they are, like, meaningful to do. One is that they are too scared to do it and um, not put them on. Or, this will probably be the mere one, is copyright. Because um, some things which are like copyright, which cannot be put into other countries. Um, but I'm thinking that number two, that copyright. But some of the things, like when you want to watch them, they don't put them into your country or into your region. I'm like, what the hell? What the hell is going on with this shit? Seriously. I mean, like, um, the copyright thing, I can understand. Um, I can understand because, but, come on, at least you've got to, like, um, put something that can be put into this country, into the UK. Most of the videos that I can watch now on YouTube are in the UK. Or mostly in America, which can be viewed over in the UK. But some videos just cannot be viewed over here. And that is bad for me. Well, actually, it's bad for other people here who actually want to watch the stuff. I would love to watch the stuff as well. I mean, like, it's absolutely fantastic. Um... Okay, WWE news. Now, we got a new WWE champion of all, John Cena. Everybody doesn't like. I looked on my Facebook and I looked on the wrestling thing and all that. They say that Cena sucks at being the champion and all that. In a way, though, I kind of, a little bit of agree with them being, of him being the WWE champion, that he sucks. One thing is, is that he doesn't do, like, as much as what he would do in the WWE. Like, what he used to do beforehand. That was when he was the best. When he was in, I think he debuted in 2000, and, 2000 or 2002. That's when he debuted. But when he became known as the Doctor of Thugonomics, you know, when he was the hip-hop um, sort of thing, like... Coming off from the streets of West New Bay, Massachusetts, um, that's when I loved him. I loved him like that because he was he had all the aggression behind in him, and guess what? It was fully loaded. It was full out. That was absolutely brilliant. Um, we have we have a new Winter Continental Champion, Wade Barrett. Uh, that was pretty much exciting. Um, another thing that I want to is um, yesterday. Well, uh, it was on a Friday, April the 19th, um, last week. I went to WrestleMania's Revenge Tour, which is at the Metro Radio Arena. And I can't believe who I actually saw there. I saw the New Age Outlaws there. You know, Badass Billy Gunn and Road Dog. They were absolutely amazing. It was just unbelievable. It was really unbelievable. Uh, so, here we go, well, here you are then, that's my Dame 448 vlog for you, I've had a lot to chat about, well, including mainly Microsoft, and YouTube, really pisses me off, that you cannot view the videos over in the country that they do not select it in, so anyway, this has been Dame 448 vlog in my room, number 6, I hope you've enjoyed it. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And by the way, uh, peace. Peace.